Sex offenders are finding jobs in our schools and federal laws are not preventing it. That's according to a just released government watchdog report. The Government Accountability Office looked at 15 cases in 11 states involving sex offenders working in public or private schools. Of those, 11 offenders had previously targeted children and six abused more kids in their new positions. Investigator Ryan Kath is here with more on why this is happening. Ryan. Mark, none of the incidents mentioned in this 44-page report happened in Missouri or Kansas. But the bigger issue is there's no federal law regulating whether or not sex offenders can work in our schools. And state requirements are all over the map. For instance, the GAO report found registered child sex offenders in Missouri can't be on school property without permission. And they can't be a coach on a youth sports team. Missouri also requires criminal background checks for all public school teachers, employees, and bus drivers. However, on the Kansas side, the report says there are no state laws prohibiting sex offenders from working at schools. Kansas and Montana are apparently the only two states in the nation that do not require background checks for teachers and public school employees. Federal authorities worry the patchwork of differing laws gives offenders incentive to move to states where they perceive there's less enforcement. We know that um, offenders... Not all of them, but we know that they probably state shop on a little bit of a level. Our reporting partners at Scripps News Service highlighted the problem in a recent investigation, which found only four states have followed a 2006 federal law meant to help track sex offenders. The Adam Walsh law is supposed to make sure offender registries are in sync from state to state. These offenders want to go places where they can be anonymous, where they can have easy access to their victims and reduced likelihood of being no Noticed or apprehended. You want to knock on that one? Child safety groups say compliance with the Adam Walsh law will keep thousands of offenders from falling off the radar. The deadline for the Adam Walsh Act has already been pushed back twice now to July of 2011. And unless there's yet another extension, states not up to speed could risk losing federal funding. But Mark and Elizabeth, Missouri and Kansas officials told me today they're working on legislation to submit to lawmakers for the upcoming session to make sure they are compliant right, by the well. time this act comes around. Now, Kansas doesn't require that background checks are done, but it doesn't mean they're not doing them on their own, I guess. Mm -hmm. right? right. We want to make sure and make that clear. A lot of districts do do the background checks on their own. It's just not mandated by states. Like, for instance, when we called KCK Public Schools today, they said they do background checks for all their public employees. All right. Very interesting. Thanks, Very interesting. Ryan. Thanks, Ryan.